Labos, Asha Sukun, and today I'm going to review the entry of Lithuania at Eurovision 2021, The Roop, with the song Discotheque. Last year, The Roop won the Lithuanian national final Pabando Mishnayu with a landslide with their song On Fire. They were also one of the biggest favorites to win Eurovision last year. They were not internally reselected to represent Lithuania again this year, despite being such a big favorite to win. Instead, a new edition of the national final was going to be held. The Roop felt like they had a moral right to represent their country this year as well, so they submitted a new song to the national final, which is Discotheque. They were automatically qualified to the grand final of the national final, which they won with a landslide yet again. Again, which honestly most people expected. The song debuted at number one on Spotify Lithuania with more than 25,000 streams, which is probably the biggest debut on that platform in Lithuania. On the online schedule of LRT, which is the Lithuanian broadcaster, it said that after the national final, there was going to be a press conference with the group who was traveling to Rotterdam before the national final even took place, which was deleted once people saw it. But it did raise some questions. The group explained their entry on their Instagram page. The song Discotheque talks about inner liberation. The song and movement aims at liberating everyone's mind, which contains too much self-criticism, fear of appearing different, reluctance to accept your body and limiting your attractiveness. We want to reduce depression because when you move you feel good and everybody can dance, it's innate. And by dancing you can reduce depression and heal your scars. The main melody is reminiscent of old folk songs if sung in legato, but the band sings it in staccato to bring folk music to the dance floor. They also use mouth sounds to go back to the past. They wrote the song title as Discotheque instead of Discotheque with an H because this song is a different kind of discotheque. Just like on fire last year, the Lithuanian entry has a lot of unique dance moves. These dance moves are inspired by the dances the band members did in their childhood and also some are inspired by the Lithuanian basketball player Arvidas Sabonis. So it looks like they put a lot of thought into their entry this year. I have to admit that Discotheque had to grow on me a bit more than their entry on Fire had to last year. I do like it now. I'm not so sure which one I prefer. I think they stayed on basically the same level as last year, which is a positive thing. I kind of wonder why they bothered to hold the national final since it was so obvious that the group was going to win again. Actually, maybe that is the exact reason. Maybe they organized the national final because they knew the group would win anyway and would still get the views during the national final. Oh wow, smart marketing strategy. I personally have listened to the song a bit too much, I think. It kind of has outgrown me, but that doesn't really matter contest-wise, since the bigger part of the viewers of the Eurovision Song Contest will hear the song for the first time on the Eurovision stage. Also, can I just say that I love how the group are treated in Lithuania? They're basically already treated like heroes. I mean, Lithuania's culture ministry even put them forward for a COVID vaccination priority. The group will open semi-final one, which means that Discotheque is the first song we'll see on that Eurovision stage since Duncan reprised his winning entry in 2019. I think Lithuania has a big advantage with opening the semi my final because that means that every other song that night has to follow up to this very strong entry. I definitely see this song qualifying. It's definitely televote friendly. I'm not so sure about jury vote friendly though. You know, ever since the two semifinals were introduced, one of the semifinal openers always failed to qualify and the other always did qualify. With the exception of 2013 when both semifinal openers failed to qualify and 2014 when both semifinal openers did qualify. I feel like the latter can happen again this year. Both Lithuania and San Marino are opening their semi-finals and I feel like both are very strong and very likely to qualify. Yes, Lithuania is participating in a very strong semi-final, but I feel like they still have a really good chance at qualifying this year. I feel like Lithuania has a really good chance at getting their best result ever this year and it's about time for Lithuanian victory. Not just because Kirkudov is banned from Lithuania, but also because Lithuania is the only Baltic country that hasn't had a Eurovision victory yet and I think it's about time Lithuania gets one. So to conclude, I think the group has a great song for this year's Eurovision song contest just like they had last year. I'm pretty sure the group will qualify to the grand final especially since they're opening the first semi-final and I feel like in the grand final we can also expect a really good result from Lithuania. And that's about all for now. Let me know what you think of the song in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully until next time. Peace out.